Today, we have more than 7.5 billion people around the world now. And as of last year, 2015, it had been reported that finally, okay, there are microorganisms that already shows resistance to our last line of antibiotic defense. This means that we really need alternative technology to combat emerging pathogens and infections. One of our major research efforts is actually to find new antimicrobial systems okay, to combat emerging new pathogens. At the time when we are helping a group of high school students from Carmen High School, okay, they, they needed to do a science project. And at that time, the topic is food safety. And they are very interested in looking like the problem of the uh, yogurt machine. Because in the yogurt machine, there are many, many parts that needed to be disinfected at the end of the day. So they wanted to see whether there's a much more convenient technology that can do disinfection of yogurt. And when I was thinking at this problem, I suggested to them, why don't you look at the new technology called the pulse electric field, which is used in treatment of juices, okay, uh, in, in treatment of soya milk, okay, and it is possible to apply it for, for yogurt. Now, simultaneously during this time, we do have the uh, problem of um, Legionella in Hong Kong. And therefore, we were approached by the hospital and we start talking and then we thought, can we actually take this post-electric field um, technology, okay, change it, okay, uh, introduce new things to it so that we can use it for water disinfection. Now, what is the main barrier? Because currently the, the technology, the post-electric field technology, requires very high voltage, so it is not safe. It consumes a lot of electricity, so it's economically it's not viable. And it's just very big and bulky. Now, if we wanted to use it at home, it had to basically be inexpensive, it had to be convenient, it had to be safe. And most of all, if possible, if it can consume less amount of energy, then it can also serve other people, okay? People in rural area that don't have access to water disinfection or coronation process. And this is the starting point of our idea. I believe that it's very important. It's like when you look at a problem, you have to adopt a multi-perspective, looking at a single problem. And you have to be your mind had to be agile enough, nimble enough, okay, so that you can actually take idea from a totally different field for totally different application, turn it on, it on its head to solve the problem that you have in front of you, okay? And by doing that, what you can do, you can come up with new innovation. This is the way toward creativity.